Hello everyone! Kumusta? This is Che and welcome to my channel. Mabuhay from Philippines. Surprise! This is my new garden. But actually, not a new garden. This was my first garden. This is where I learned how to grow orchids and I am very sorry for the longest time that I haven't uploaded any videos because we were so busy. We transferred all of my orchids here last August and here are my orchids now. They are doing great. Um, not all of them but my Phalaenopsis are doing great. They are spiking. So I'm going to show you today my new old garden and other orchids here some of my mother's orchids which i just arranged here these are the orchids and my other orchids which i showed you before and how i planted them here now so let's go i will show you my orchids here here are my vandas now so we just hang them here we installed bamboo poles and we also installed shading nets. So this is 80% shading net and that's 50% shading net. So you can see the difference. And because our garden or my garden here is surrounded by trees, I thought that maybe I should have installed 50% shading net but I'm out of budget so this is the net that they will be here in my garden so my vandas are um, not doing so great they are good but they are not growing fast maybe because the climate here is colder but some of them managed to flower this one already bloomed and this is her first bloom i will just post the name on the screen this is a vanda from soul orchids davao and i will also include the link of the unboxing i will just get a chair so that i can show you the beautiful bloom so this is her bloom the color is brownish and I can't tell if she has a fragrance because I can't smell her I hang her so high here I'm sorry if there will be some background noise I hope that you can still hear me because we have a different set up here so here are the roots I will show you my other Vandas. This ba Vanda had already spiked before and just like before, the spike blasted. So I don't know if she's sick, but she's healthy. She looks healthy. Look at the roots. I think that maybe this is just her. So she has a blasted spike before. And now she also um, did not continue to grow her spike. I hope that next time she will show her flowers. And Avanda here is also spiking. And here are my other Vandas. So this is my mini palmer. She has three cake keys and I transferred her into a bigger plastic basket and now she is losing her roots but there are some active roots so I am not scared or I am not worried because I think that she will just produce new roots soon. Here are my Vandas in our DIY Vanda Hanger. Only three of them are left because I also potted two more of them. I will just show you later. These are my orchids in 
my hanging basket or hanging pot and they are spiking but one of the spikes is broken because of the heavy rain and here are my two dendrobiums this is my mini dendrobium which was in self-watering pot before and this one too but I transferred, I repotted all of my orchids here so I no longer have orchids in self-watering pots all of them are here now all of them are in out my outdoor garden now so here are some more of them but before that i will show you this part first so i have my um, ground orchids here some of my uh, uh my symbidiums i only have Four, three of them are here my ground orchids which I showed you before this is the color and the yellow one this is my mother's plant in patience I place them here so that there will always be some flowers in my garden if my orchids will not bloom here are my um, Dendrobiums, Cattleyas, my Epidendrums. So I repotted my Epidendrums, all of my Epidendrums in plastic pots with stones and hydrotons or LECA. So far, they are doing great. This one Dendrobium here is blooming, but the tip of the spike is also broken, maybe because of some insects so that's one of my problem here my orchids will be exposed to different kinds of insects i guess because there are trees outside there are bananas also mango avocado we also have durian here so um the um portion of the lot outside or the lot outside of our fence is still our property um we have some fruit trees there we also have grapes my mother's grapes not mine so i will maybe sometime i will show you what we have there this one i planted or i repotted the vandas here here are my Phalaenopsis. I think this one is Shilariana. I'm not sure. They have the same leaves. This one has shorter leaves. This one has longer leaves. And I think that this one is growing a spike. I'm not sure, but I think that that is not a root. Maybe a kiki? but i hope that that is a spike so here are my phalaenopsis my phalaenopsis so i repotted all of my phalaenopsis in plastic pots with stones and hydroton before i place them in self-watering pots but now i transfer them here so they are no longer in self-watering pots and Weeks after we transferred here, some of them started to grow their spike and now this one is blooming. This one. Before, um, this one did not fully open her flowers and now I think that that was because of dehydration or maybe... Um, underwatering underwatering in a self-watering pot because she um she consumed her water uh, faster than the rest of my orchids before in self-watering pots and because i was lazy i waited for my other orchids to um, to drain or to drink uh, drunk up their water before i refill so maybe that was the reason why the flower of this phalaenopsis before 
did not fully open and now look at this flower and this is the only spike that um, grew in my previous garden this is secondary spikes and she grew two more spikes and this i am so excited actually most of my phalaenopsis here are spiking i will show you here this is spiking growing a new spike this is a secondary spike this one is growing a new spike this is my biggest phalaenopsis because um because she has the biggest leaves and i think that she is growing a new spike a spike her first spike and here's my sherry baby i hope that this will grow well now because she wasn't doing well before and i think that she is recovering here are my other phalaenopsis my mini phalaenopsis this one is will bloom soon my phalaenopsis intermedia uh, is growing two new spikes with uh, lots of buds the secondary spikes or her spike before grew new spikes bikes whatever <laughs> i am sorry i cannot um speak well and this is my oncidium uh i will just post the name on the screen um when we transferred here she was already producing a spike and after a few after two months she is still in bloom this is my jewel orchid my um my um, alumnias were sunburned and this one is growing her buds and hopefully I can show you her flower soon and I promise you that if I cannot post new videos I will post pictures of new blooms here in my garden in our community tab so that I can keep you updated here are more spikes from my phalaenopsis. Two spikes, first new spikes. And here are my new files. I bought them with broken spikes in flowering. They, are, they were flowering, but the spikes were broken due to shipping. And then um, I just transferred them here this one is also growing a spike growing a spike most of my phalaenopsis are um, growing spikes producing um, spikes this one two and more here i hope that <laughs> my voice is clear um, here are my rinko stylist seedlings this one hopefully this will flower soon i hope that um, these will grow <laughs> i am really excited because this will be the first time that this prinko will flower for me so here are my cattleyas i also repotted my cattleya seedlings here um there actually <laughs> there and this was the cattleya which i showed you um i grew this from seedling she is in bloom now this is cattleya copper queen she opened her flower as pink or peach and now this is gold or yellow and this is my tiny vanda which i showed you in our community post this is so cute and i am so happy that she bloomed for me this is 
my new orchid this is the Nerobium three lips look at that <laughs> so cute and she is also growing two new spikes I'm so excited I got her with a broken spike and then she grew this small spike and new spikes and new growth <laughs> and this one I'm so excited for this this has nice leaves so here are my I forgot the name but um, I will show you or I will just add the name on the screen this is my trichocentrum she bloomed again but the spike was broken so this had turned brown but she managed to open her three flowers i transferred my sanguma here and look at her roots she had grown the, her roots into our fence which has some moss so these are my orchids and here are the makaras which I first planted in clay pot and I think that I think I just think and I hope that she will develop this spike soon and then I planted this these two mukaras here look at the roots of course the roots did not die because of the technique <laughs> which i already showed you in that pre-pot video so here are my mother's orchids which i transferred here so they were um, in mother de cacao but i have to transfer them here to maximize the space of the garden here are her vandas which were in the fence so i transferred them here and um, some of them had bloomed but hopefully they will just adapt to the new setup and bloom for me here are my denrobiums and this is my giant vanda i just forgot the name but maybe I will just talk about her in one of my future videos because this is just a cakey. And the mother plant is in my mother's garden. Maybe next time I can show that mother plant to you because that is amazing. Very big Vanda, a giant Vanda. This has bloom for me. Very nice. And this. Um, then Robium is a cakey. Look at that. And she is producing a spike. And another spike here from the mother plant. So here's my orchids now. Um, by the way, I forgot that um, my dancing lady had bloomed. This is my dancing lady. And I also transferred um, my dancing lady in a clay pot with charcoal here. So I did not um, do anything special. I just pulled her out from her pot, which was this pot, and then I placed her here. I did not attach her or anything. I just placed her here and then she continued to bloom because she was already in spike and now she is growing a new spike <laughs> very exciting i like, also love this this denrobium lots of flowers so this is my garden now um we placed some gravel because it always rain here it is rainy season and the Bermuda is not looking great because of the shading net, I think. And this is my garden, so I hope that you like it. I hope that you will continue to check my other videos, my future videos, and 
I'm excited to show you especially my phalaenopsis when they bloom so thank you for being with me thank you for watching maraming salamat paalam see you on my next videos